everyone, I'm Becca from Cohort 17 at the Guild Hall at SMU, and I'm going to be telling you how to make a destructible mesh. We have Alejandro here at the computer showing us what to do, and we're going to start off by selecting a static mesh in the content browser. So if we open that up, we're going to choose a wall. Now to open up the static mesh editor, double click on the static mesh, and we're going to open up the fracture tool. Now we've got lots of options to choose from to alter our fracture mesh. Under generate chunk, you can select the number of chunks you want your mesh to split into. Under chunk shape, you can modify the generated chunk scale. Under modify points, you can move the different chunks around in your mesh, or you can randomize them. Under chunk options, you need to check destroyable. If a chunk isn't destroyable, it's not going to break off your mesh. Now support chunks act as anchors, and spawn no physics means that your, uh, your uh, chunks are not going to have any physics when they break off your mesh. Under chunk selection, you can select different groups of chunks, and under viewing, you can change different viewing options of the chunks. Finally, under core, you can assign a core to your mesh that will remain intact once you destroy the object. Now let's generate 50 chunks on our mesh. And then slice, hit the slice button. I'm going to assign it to a package. And you can see where our chunks lay on the mesh with the wireframe. Now this first type of destructible mesh is going to be destroyed when you shoot it once. First off though, before we test it out, we need to assign a texture to the inside of the mesh. At this point, if we were to shoot this mesh, the chunks would break off the wall and you just see that blue and gray checkerboard on the inside. So we're going to assign a texture to the inside. We're going to copy and paste the material on the outside of the wall to the inside of the wall. Alright, now we've got to check a couple options in the uh, mesh editor. We want to check can become dynamic. This makes the mesh become dynamic when it gets shot. We also want to check composite chunks explode on impact. This makes all chunks physically active. Alright, we're going to drag the wall into the level, close the mesh editor, drag it onto the level, and rebuild the lighting. Okay. This might take a minute. Hit close. Then we're going to play from here. Now if you shoot the wall, you'll see that it just shatters on impact. Now this is pretty cool, but it may not be that realistic depending on the object you want to shatter. You may just want to break off pieces at a time. So we're going to try that next. We're going to double click our static mesh. And we're going to uncheck composite chunks explode on impact. And then check fix isolated chunks. Now if we go back to our wall and play from here, we shoot it. You can see that only bits and pieces will get shot off at a time. Alright, so that's how you add a fracture mesh to a, a scene in UDK. There are just a couple limitations though. You do have to use dynamic lighting, and the fracture tool only works correctly on meshes that are closed. It doesn't work on hollow meshes. So I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Have a good one.